Is Ed, are you are you up on the Ed Sheeran lawsuit? A little bit. I know okay. that he's being accused of, was it Marvin Gaye ripping off a song from Marvin Gaye from yes. 20, 40, 40 years ago? Yeah, so the 1973 hit, Let's Get It On, Marvin Gaye. 50 which, years ago. Uh, yeah, in fact, here, let's just play a little. Oh, yeah. I've been feeling trying, baby. Trying to hold okay. back. <laughs> yeah. That's an old song. Ed Sheeran wasn't born then. Okay, let's put that. But a very popular song. Right. Yeah. So the people behind his song, I mean, Marvin Gaye's been passed away for, oh, gosh. For a, for a long time. Years, yeah, 40 yeah. years, 40 a long time. Yeah. But uh, people behind that song are like, well, Ed Sheeran stole our our family member's song, mm-hmm. they didn't write, mm-hmm. for his song, Thinking Out Loud. When your legs don't work like they used to before And I can't sweep you off of your feet So far, Noble, what are we thinking here? You know, I'm not a music expert. Um, my daughter is. She does really, really well. She went to OCU on a musical theater scholarship. Oh, she nice. can tell you, but, you know, is it similar? Yeah, it's similar, but you know, I, like, how many chords are there even? I mean, there's only so many, and so... You know, the question is, is over the fullness of time, I mean, you're talking 50 years time, two different artists born in two different time generations. If it's possible for a guy in 1973 to put those chords together in that order, why would it not be possible for somebody 50 years later to do the same thing independently? It is. I mean, obviously it is. But the question is, is did he listen to that earlier one? Did that apply to what he was doing? Uh, Did he rip that off? I think it's going to be hard to prove, but these lawsuits are not unusual. You said yeah. yourself, you hear about these all the time. Yeah, and a lot of times the judges who don't, like, you know, you you admitted you're not a musical expert. Right. But your daughter but, is. But, but well, neither are these judges. And, and, like, do they not know that there's been 100 million songs or more written and probably 5 million have that exact same chord progression? Well, you got to remember how a case works. I mean, there will be an expert, and I think there have been some experts testify yes. already that will come in and proclaim themselves to be experts in that particular industry. And so there's going to be somebody that comes in and says, this is exactly th- like this, and this is how they did this, and they'll testify. And of course, it will be up to the judge. I don't remember if this is a judge case or a jury case, uh, to make the determination on whether that expert's testimony is reliable or not. Sure. Um, now, one of the experts testifying is Ed Sheeran. Yeah. And, okay. And so, what, <laughs> one of one of the arguments for the people you know that are suing is that Ed did a, a mashup of "Let's Get It On" at the end of "Thinking Out Loud" in one of his concerts. And here, you yeah, have like forty thousand people. So right there, they're saying, well, he's guilty. He's just admitted it. And Ed Sheeran's saying, if I did steal your song, do you think I'd brag about it at a concert <laughs> Which, in front of right? 20,000 people? Which is a great point. He wouldn't, obviously. He wouldn't. So, yeah. You know, and you got to go back to expert testimony. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm a trial lawyer. This is what I do. Um, you can pay an expert. Some experts out there, their testimony's for sale. Oh, it really? It just depends on... Who's paying them? I mean, I swear there's been experts for the defense and cases for me that if I had hired that guy, he would have given me testimony that I wanted. I mean, there's experts out there that are not honorable. I'm not saying this particular person's not. I'm going to say this person's not honorable. Just because somebody (laughs) says I'm an expert and this is my testimony. Look, their their testimony is to be given no greater weight from the perspective of the jury than an individual lay witness. I mean, they come in and proclaim expert, but they're selling their testimony. They get paid for telling what their testimony is. So you have to take a little bit with a grain of salt.